Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to create a DBT staging SQL model and also the staging YAML files. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can run the SQL model and as well as the tests associated to it. But before moving ahead, I do recommend all of you guys to connect with me on LinkedIn and as well as subscribe to my channel in case you guys have not done so. So let's move ahead. In fact, first I would like to show you this sequentially. In the first video, I have shown you what exactly is DB. Then I have shown you a proper DBT project where you have seen all the components of DBT project and I have explained to you what each of those components means. Then we have run a sample project in DBT core. Then we have actually run that project in DBT core. I've shown you how a project can actually run in DBT core and what it can do for us. After that, we have started our hands on where I have shown you, you know, what you need to install in order to set up your DBT core project. After that, I have made you, uh, you know, comfortable with DBT init command, which helps you to create a DBT project from scratch. After that, I have helped you in creating and running your first staging SQL model step by step. Then I have created, uh, then I have helped you guys in creating your first model YAML file and I have shown you how we can add tests to it. After that, I have shown you how the output of the DBT project you can keep as a materialized tables instead of default views. So now what I have mentioned in, uh, you know, video six and seven, what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine both of these and I'm going to create two new more models out of it. You know, so let's go ahead and see exactly how I, I will do that. So this is the same project that we have been working on. You can see that we have created our stage e-commerce order dot SQL and then we have created our stage e-commerce orders dot YAML file, right? So now I'm going to create my stage e-commerce order items. So this is what I, this is the next staging model that I'm going to create now. So let me click on a new file and I will say stage e-commerce orders item dot SQL because this is the model that I am building. Now I'll simply go ahead and in order to save the time, I'll copy this and I'll show you over here. Now here, what I'm going to do again, the same thing, which I've explained to you line by line in my previous videos, you can actually see that we are taking the data from the look e-commerce, which is an open data set in GCP BigQuery. We have got it from there. From this particular table, we are picking up the data and what is what are the columns that we are picking up? We are picking up ID column as order item ID, then we are picking up order ID, then we are picking user ID, product ID and sale price and we are renaming it to the sale price item. So this is the staging table. We are taking the data from uh, the open data set and this is the staging table SQL that we have, which is in turn going to create a model. So now for this, I also need a YAML file like I have discussed in my previous videos. Now in this staging file, let me in fact click on new file over here and let me say, let me name it as stage underscore e commerce underscore underscore order underscore items dot yaml file now this will be my yaml file and in this so basically this is the yaml file that i have created and if you can see here what i'm mentioning i'm mentioning stage e-commerce order item so if you go back let me in fact close everything and re-show you so this is the order item sql file and order item yaml file so if you look at this yaml file it is saying that this is the model name stage e-commerce order item which is nothing but your sql model that you have created and this particular yaml file will have the description and the test cases for your order items model right so for this particular model it is mentioning the description of your model and then line by line it is mentioning each and every column order item id order id user id product id and item sale price so you can see item sale price so like this all these columns descriptions are actually mentioned here and then 
also the tests are mentioned so this order item id is not null it should be unique similarly your order id should be not null your user id should not be not null so these are the basic tests right we are going to see test even more in more detail and also you can see there's another test that is added to it you will see that there is something called as relationship over here relationship order id this particular column should have relationship to the reference which what is the reference reference is your stage e-commerce orders model which is the first model that we created right stage e-commerce orders model so if i click on this so you can see that this is your model stage e-commerce orders model this has order id in it right now if i go back it says it should have reference to it should have a relationship to the order id field so this means that the order id present here should always exist in the stage e-commerce order model as well so similarly you can see here even the product id right here also relationship is defined that it should ref it should refer to stage e-commerce products now products is our second model that we are going to create now and it should refer to the product id and you can see the description how much items are sold this is items how much items are sold for that is item sale price so this description is what you have in the yaml file over here now since we have created the uh, model the first uh, the second model which is stage e-commerce order items right now let's move ahead and create the second model which is the products model right so let me do that let me create a new file over here and i will name it as products stage e-commerce products dot sql so one is orders then the other is order items and then is product and let me copy this code from here in order to save time and simply put over here then again you can see it is almost the same structure with source as it is taking the data from your eLook commerce right uh, this particular data set products table right i have already shown you that in your big query right in your public data set you have this particular data set and in this data set you are referring all these columns right this is what i have also shown you uh, in the uh, previous videos as well now uh, after this the products dot uh, sql model is already created now let me do let me create another file and in this file what i'm going to do i'm going to create the yaml file so let me copy the name in order to put it in the yaml file now i will say products.yaml so the moment i do that let me copy the code as well from here and paste it over here so now you guys can see what has happened here now uh, if you see here as well the model is stage e-commerce products so products.sql file that you have created this is the model it is referring to it is a description of your model and then columns of your model so if you look at it product id it is one column right so it is now it is saying that this column should not be not should not uh, should be not null and it should be unique then the second column is cost then retail price department and brand so the second column is cost it is giving you description and it is saying okay it should be not null similarly retail price and then the department even the department if you see it is saying the test is not null and another test on top of it is accepted values so in the in department the only it should be not null and then the accepted value should be men and women so that is what is the another test on top of it and then your fourth column is nothing but it is the brand in the brand also in the similar way description has been mentioned and there is no constraint on the brand so now if i save this right so you have what you have done right now you have created two model files sql uh, orders item sql and the product sql so as part of our previous videos what we have done in this project we have created orders right we have created our orders model so now this is in continuation to all the previous videos so in the next video i will show you how you can run all of this project in one go how you can run test separately how you can run more how you can actually run the model and test in one go and how you can run them separately how you can run the project as a whole so these are the things that we are going to see even in our uh, upcoming videos so i hope you liked this particular video you understood that we have created now three models 
in our dbt project so if you guys had following me if you guys are also practicing side by side then you would have got a really good hands on by now so i hope you like this particular video do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel so thank you so much for being till here